Hey guys, it's Chris for Dual Man's Guitars and Basses. I'm standing here with John Petrucci. What's hey up, John? Chris? How are you? Good to see you again. <laughs> it's been so nice to see you too. Yeah. Uh, we are doing today a full Dream Theater live rig tour. It's crazy. So uh, make sure to check out all the other videos uh, on this channel and on the other channels we have. So, uh, you know, just check out the description and uh, check those out. Don't forget about those. But first. Okay. How are you, man? I'm doing great. Yeah, <laughs> doing great on tour. We're in Germany right now um, and kind of winding down on our European tour for a distance over time. Wow. And also celebrating 20 years of scenes from a memory. It's been a great tour. So crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's been crazy. It's, it's been a pretty long tour. It tour, has right? been. Yeah, distance it's over like time. Last year. It came out last year. It came out about a year ago. Yeah. And we've been to the US, through the US a few times, uh, Europe during the summer. South America, we, we still have many places to go. So, oh my yeah. God, wow. Well, still energy? Let's... Lots of energy. Wow. <laughs> and the guitars are kicking ass. Oh They're my awesome. God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, go cool. Let's talk about guitars. Yes. Um, what do you want to start with? You well, have some new guitars too? I right? do. I do have some new guitars. So, since it's uh, 2020 uh, at the NAM show this year, uh, we introduced some new colors and finishes and mm. things like that. And I have a few of them here. Nice. Today, so I can go through oh, a couple of them. So let's Love see. It. I'm going to start with this one. <laughs> yes. Wow. And uh, this is absolutely beautiful. The color is called a smoked pearl. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, oh my God. It's yeah. Like pearl solid color on the uh, outside. And right. I see exactly. Wow. So um, it's a mahogany neck through. Majesty. This is, of course, the Majesty. I should mention that. Um, all these models I'm going to show you are the Majesty, which is our neck through guitar. Um, as, as you see, figured maple top. Um, all of the uh, hardware is sort of a black yeah. um, kind of matte finish. Um, the controls are consistent through my whole line of guitars, which are ergonomic. Yeah. that uh, line up in the arc of your hand. Um, DiMarzio, Dreamcatcher, and Rainmaker pickups. This guitar sounds like a beast. I it's love these pickups, yeah. Yeah, and I'll tune yeah. this guitar um, to standard, to drop D, to D, and down to C as well. Wow, And of course, okay. we use Ernie Ball strings and, and you know, use the different gauges for that. But this is, uh, standard has 10 through 46 on it. All right, okay. Yeah. Um, so you stick to those uh, strings. I asked yes. you three years ago in our interview, like yeah, nines, yeah, yeah. tens. You, right, right. You know. Sticking with tens. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And uh, we have a couple of features. Um, there's a full piezo system on the guitar. Um, there's a, uh, uh, a volume boost on the volume control. It's up to 20 dB. Uh, you, if you, it's a push push pot, which is great for performance. You're yep. playing, you just kind of punch it. Yeah. It pops up, and you have uh, dB boost. Uh, the the dB boost amount and the EQ for the piezo are all, all in the back, yeah. so you can easily adjust those. We also have a coil tap on the tone, again a push push, that kind of splits the when you're in the center position, yeah, to uh, give you more of a single coily sound. This piezo volume and uh, yeah, it's an amazing guitar. Do you use the coil uh, split function live? Uh, every because once in a while. Like every once in a while. In yeah. studio, you tend to use it. And live I, I depends use it as, on yeah, yeah, live, I kind of tend to go just in the middle position mm. for clean stuff, which I'll demonstrate. Oh, okay. uh, I can show you both sounds.
Um, the, the single coil, coil sort of tap thing I'll use as a layering technique. Okay. You know, um, but yeah, let's say it's a performance driven instrument. Everything about it is meant to help you play better, uh, especially live. Even the, uh, the rubber around the knob so they don't get all sweaty and slippery. Um, stainless steel frets, uh, ebony fretboard, yeah. And I will show you another one. By the way, we have uh, all of um, the guitars that we're traveling with. Uh, a lot of them are the 2019 mm -hmm. models, um, including the Kinetic Blue and the Tiger Eye. Some are older than that. And we sort of keep a mixture of things. Oh, nice. We also have a baritone guitar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've, I've spotted yeah. it, yeah. This is uh, new for 2020. Oh, this is a seven string. All these guitars come in six and seven. Again, it's the Majesty, neck through, mahogany. You can see the beautiful grain on the back there. You can actually spot the, the neck through piece yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. where the joint is. Yeah. Oh. So unlike the uh, other guitar that was more opaque, this one is, uh, you, you can see the, the transparent, yeah. um, the wood through the, through the uh, finish. It has um, a, a, a larger uh, figured Maple shield on top. Again, Dreamcatcher, Rainmaker, DiMarzio signature pickups, black hardware, and everything else that I explained before. Yeah. But in yeah. the seven string version. Wow. And uh, this one's called Ember Glow because it just kind of has that look. Looks it's like very ember. Ember ember's burning in a fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, let's see if I don't break everything. <laughs> this one is really special. So for 2019, this sort of uh, Rolls Royce. Uh, higher end one was the Tiger Eye. Oh yeah, I uh, for that this one. year, for 2020, it's the Purple Nebula, oh, which I God. introduced to you. This is probably oh, one of the most beautiful Majesties ever to be created. Um, it's incredible. Yeah, so oh, beautiful. Wow. Again, neck through. Um, there's a three-piece neck on the back where you have the maple in the center, matching um, the front. Uh, figured full oh, maple yeah. top. So instead of just the shield yep. being maple, full maple top, Okume, um, you know, sides. Oh, uh, same, Yeah, wow. yeah, so okay. it's beautiful, it has a nice weight to it. Okay. It's thick, rich, chocolatey. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. This one has chrome hardware, and wow. again, also comes in six and seven. Again, DiMarzio Dreamcatcher and Rainmaker, which uh, these pickups were designed to make the majesty sort of, uh, you know, jump out yeah, of uh, yeah. uh, uh, of your cabinets, whatever you're playing through, yeah. even even more. So it really accentuates the beautiful tone, tonal qualities um, of the Majesty, the yeah. neck through, the wood combination, the maple. These pickups just they accentuate that and bring that out. Was it was yeah. it a long uh, work to to dial them in, or was it like an obvious choice? To you know, I for? I've I've known Larry DiMarzio for a long time. We have an amazing yep. relationship, um, and uh, Steve Blucher is the guru and the man that works on the pickups. And all that it takes between the two of us, we know each other so well, is a conversation. Okay. You know, I'm looking for this. Let's do this. Yeah. And he okay. designed these pickups specifically for the neck through, Majesty. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And. Uh, and you can hear these actually for the first time. I play these on distance over time. Mm. So I was able to get those into the studio and on a song like Barstool Warrior, you can hear them. <sighs> that yeah. album, by the way, cool. oh my God, that's All right. incredible. The Thank sound you. is so different. Awesome. It, it's it's yeah. still you, but it's for some reason, I'm not sure if, if there was a different recording technique or... Yeah. Well, a bunch of things were different about it. Um, we, we, the whole band went away to a remote location to write uh, and record the album. It was a barn no in way. upstate New York that was just a state-of-the-art studio that was absolutely wow. beautiful. So we had a great environment. 
Uh, we used uh, a young engineer who has been in the Dream Theater uh, camp for a while. This was his first time engineering. Wow. Jimmy T, he recorded the whole thing. Maddie, who you know and met, made everything happen in that studio and turned it into a beautiful setting oh, for wow. all of us to work and write and record in. And it was first record mixed by Ben Gross. Um, okay. And he, he uh, is known for uh, so many different things, uh, including Breaking Benjamin, yeah. um, whose records always sound amazing. And Ben just did a stellar job. So I think That's... it's a combination of all those things. And of course, um, I used my Majesty's on the record, and I used my Mesa Boogie JP2C signature, and that's oh, that's the sound. It's all yeah, you need. Yeah, you don't need a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since we talked about it, I, I guess I will bring out the Tiger Eye. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. So this was uh, for 2019, we introduced this. So, um, you know, similar uh, to the purple, purple Nebula where there's a full maple top. Uh, in this case, it's uh, flame as opposed to like the uh, quilt. The quilt. Or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, beautiful, yes. beautiful sounding guitar. Beautiful looking. Wow. Yeah. Do you have like a preferred uh, wood wing uh, for different guitars, like six or seven yeah. strings? Like, do you prefer mahogany for six or seven? Or uh, I don't. I don't know if it's it, it, if it's um, dependent on the six or seven string. Um, you know, they they do have different tonal qualities. You know, some of the guitars are more like opaque ones, like the black. This one's tuned to C. Oh no, that's actually the. Uh, Ooh. That's actually, the, you know what that is? Yeah. It's actually the Arctic Dream. Yeah. yeah, one of the original color shift ones. Which is green. Yeah. Uh, I remember the original ones. Yes, oh, exactly. Okay. But these sort of more opaque ones yeah. are, are all basswood, um, which have like a, a real kind of tight low end. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'll use those for the detuned mm -hmm. songs, tuned to C and stuff like that. Um, the A guitar like this, like the purple, or or this tiger eye which is uh alder i believe okay. um just has more of like a complex okay uh tonal quality to it where it, it it just feels more like sort of complete it's like a big cabernet wine yeah you know <laughs> wow. yeah um and and i guess you know thinking about it you know the seven string the mahogany versions they do sound really good um because you have that lower range they're really thick um, mahogany gives a nice punch to it. Yeah. Yeah. Baritones. Yes. Uh, you use it on one or two songs on the so new the album, right? Tone, yeah, I use it on two songs on the album. Okay. Um, we first came out the baritone guitar a while back um, when I was interested in, in doing tunings that were down to uh, A and B flat. Um, and I wrote a bunch of songs on, on these baritones and two on the new album. And we broke it out. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Um, this is obviously more of like a JP15 mm. kind of shape bolt mm. on. Yeah. Um, but just a thick and beautiful sounding guitar as opposed to um, straight uh, headstock as yep. opposed to the Majesties that have the angle headstock. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm sorry, right. I think this has the Crunch Lab and Liquifier. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct. Am I correct, Maddie? Say again now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Crunch Lab, there we go. <laughs> yeah. And that's the story. Beautiful. And here's the rig. I got my two JP2Cs, 
Axe Effects doing all the effects in a drawer of pedals doing front end effects. Ah, uh, so these go in to the amp and not in the uh, effects loop, Yeah, right? these are okay. in the front, yeah. Oh, so okay. anything okay. like a com compressor, overdrive if I even need it. Yeah. You know, front end type, types of things go into, into the front of the amp. Um, my signature Dreamscape TC pedal. Oh, nice. Of course, in the front is, uh, this is my Dunlop JP95 watt. It's a rack. The, the JP95 came from the rack version. We put it into a pedal, and then we put it back into <laughs> a rack <laughs> to have here, just so because we're running really long cable yeah. to the pedal yeah. board. Yeah. Um, so you have, but, you have the controller yeah, on stage, and exactly. the sound is built into the rack. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the JP95 watt. And then we're, for the first time on this whole world tour, I started using wireless. I mean, this is an amazing system. Sounds unbelievable. You were really picky about it sounding right. I I, yeah, I stayed away from them for a long time. I didn't like the sound of wireless. I always stuck to cables. Mogami cables been yeah. using forever. In fact, we use Mogami to connect the, um, the guitar to the pack. At the body pack yeah, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. guitar. Oh, mm -hmm. no. okay. So we did some research there. Um, but yeah, once you know, and I tried some in the past. I wasn't crazy about it. Yeah, they like compressed weird, and but this one, you don't even notice the difference. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that That's helps incredible. me to uh, to travel the stage. <laughs> Switch yourself, right? Or well, just, no. like a mixture? Yeah. Well, okay. that's what, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so, so I have the capability of switching in real time. Okay. And if I want to add an effect, everything is there for me to do. Okay. Um, however, since we are for this show running video and and sound effects and things ah. like that, we're running a Pro Tools session anyway. Okay. So we were like, well, let's connect MIDI commands to it, which we did. Oh, and so my pedal board is being switched from that Pro Tools session, okay. uh, and it knows mm -hmm. when to go to clean and when to go to yeah. lead and when to put this delay on or that. Oh, right. um, if it ever fails, which it has very yeah. rarely, I don't want to jinx it, <laughs> um, I still have the ability to overwrite yeah. it, yeah. write it there. That's great. That's so old, old an school. awesome backup yeah. plan just to go like manual. Yeah, and yeah. so does Maddie. He has an extra, uh, this is the RJM Mastermind foot control. He has the ability to do that as well. Okay. Um, so between the MIDI switching and the wireless, I'm able to be anywhere on the stage at any given time. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's quite some great. freedom, right? It gave me a lot of freedom, <laughs> and it makes sense for the show. Yeah. We're able to do some more sort of choreography yeah. to have me up here for this section or over there. Or, yeah, actually, know. I've seen that on your Instagram, yeah. that you had like pictures like way up there, like behind. It's kind of Mike fun, yeah. Stuff. yeah. Sometimes if there's, a, you know, guitar and key unis unisons and Jordan plays his his uh, Zen riffer, he's able <laughs> yes. to be on one side, I'm on the other, and so nice. we have some, some more entertainment value. Oh. <laughs> so entertainment. Yeah. Great, okay, let's right. hear some sounds. All right, sounds good.
So you want to talk about this? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So for the um, the uh, scenes from a memory 20th anniversary, uh, there's a couple moments during the show where there's acoustic mm -hmm. only. Now, of course, I can use the piezo system on the Music Man on My Majesty, but uh, for sort of purposes of choreography and kind of making the show interesting, and of course, being able to hear this wonderful, beautiful Taylor guitar, we brought this. Uh, so this is a uh, 614 CE Builder's Edition, um, Sitka Spruce, and... and flame Maple, I flame guess. Flame Maple That's on top. And it has this... Beautiful. It has this cool uh, arm yeah, bevel arm contour. Rest, yeah. And so, like in scenes from memory, there's just basically, it's, it's very simple acoustic playing, but it's like, you know, things like. The intro of the scenes show uh, starts with an acoustic thing. Yeah, yeah. It turns into a motif that's played throughout this show, but it starts with them. And uh, I should mention too, um, recently I've worked on a bunch of signature Jazz 3 mm, uh, yeah. and flow picks with Dunlop. And um, this is the latest one, it's called the Trinity, the JP the Trinity, Trinity, which is yeah. three sided. No matter how you uh, turn it, you have this great Jazz 3 shape uh, made from Altex. And what I love about it is it's great for shredding and doing you know, all that kind of stuff. But for acoustic, I'm able to kind of choke back on it a bit, expose oh, yeah. more of the pick. And because it has like, the flow beveled edges. Yeah. Um, it gets a real sound. nice smooth sound yeah. on acoustic. Yeah. Right? Nothing um, doesn't sound too hard. It or doesn't harsh. sound too hard yeah. or harsh. Exactly. Yeah. So it's really a versatile, a versatile yeah. <laughs> pick. Yeah. So uh, worth mentioning. Yeah. The uh, JP Dunlop Trinity just came out. Love this pick. Beautiful. Yeah. It's part of uh, a series that we did together. We've been working together for many, many years. Uh, not only, oh, of yeah. course, with the wah, but started with the pick, started with the jazz. Did three. it, really? Started with the jazz three. Wow. I've been playing them forever and ever and ever. And we since did four different signature picks. This is the latest one. And now they're selling them as one pack. You can get a signature collection. Wow, no way. Yeah. Like all the versions of your... Yeah, so the original uh, version, the um, NYC prime tone version, the flow, a purple two, yeah. two uh, mil millimeter version, and now the uh, Trinity. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's, the that's kind of interesting. That's the that, yeah. <laughs> there you go. But again, nice. that's it. So thanks to my friends at Taylor for always being so supportive as and well. Been playing building obviously really, really nice. Guitars. Really beautiful guitars. Yeah. Uh, I use them on all the yeah. albums, and when we bring them out on tour, of course, uh, I'm using them, and uh, they've been incredibly supportive. And I've been playing them forever. I fell yeah. in love with Taylor as soon as I played one, wow. and I've been playing them ever since. So you can hear them all over Dream Theater Records: twelve strings, six strings. And uh, yeah, just great people. Um, like all these companies we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Music Man, the Ball family, all the people at Boogie, Dunlop, Taylor, uh, you know, the RJM guys, the TC guys, just, just wonderful people. So I'm very lucky to be able to do this and yeah, have yeah. this kind of support. We had the exact same feeling we visited the Music Man factory yeah. uh, two or three years ago. Yeah. It's uh, so cozy yeah going yeah. to the music man yeah. factory is an experience yeah. of a lifetime yeah. i mean just seeing how the guitars begin with the wood that they've yeah. sourced and and going through the whole process and the combination of you know people putting their hands on the instruments and doing such detailed work and then robotics being involved as well and some of the buffing and some of the stages um it, it's a sight to be seen yeah it's amazing oh, absolutely. Absolutely. and uh, actually um we're we're approaching our uh, this is really we're in the 20th year anniversary yeah we're kind of approaching that because when i started uh with them it was right around the same time as, as scenes so oh, yeah. uh we have some special things uh exactly. planned in the future you're right there yeah, was yeah. Uh, that was the first time i've seen you guys live yes when uh i was that playing a music band guitar and i was surprised yeah. like oh that's a new yeah. guitar yeah uh-huh yeah. and i believe I it was that. a prototype at that time oh, and really? uh 
So we, we have some special things that we're working on uh, when we celebrate that momentous Looking occasion. Forward. But yeah, all my uh, love to the Ball family. I mean, they're um, unbelievable yeah. family and, and all the employees and all the engineers and everybody. They make it happen. I'm very nice. lucky, very fortunate. All right, we have one more really important thing to, uh, to do. We have John's signature guitar here, this uh, awesome Sterling signature, and uh, we will give this away. That is awesome. That That's, is. The person who gets this is going to be very lucky. This is Sterling by Music Man. Exactly. Which is, of course, a licensed uh, version that's uh, done in a more sort of affordable way. Yeah. Uh, some of these, um, the American made guitars, uh, you know, can be pretty expensive, um, although it's worth every damn penny, euro you're going to pay for it. Yeah. But, um, if, if people are interested in the Majesty, but looking uh, at a more affordable version, the Sterling by Music Man is fully licensed and just they're making absolutely beautiful yeah. it, it uh, has versions the, it of it. It has of the Majesty. contour, it has yes, the, the, the shape, feel. the contour, yeah. the neck, yeah. uh, the inlays. They're beautiful guitars. So we're going to give this one away. And you will only have to do one thing. Okay. You have to answer one of John's questions. The question is, uh, when we were going through the guitars before and I took out the 2020 Purple Nebula, I mentioned the name of a certain kind of wood that it's made of. So if you can name that wood, you yeah. will be in the running to receive right. this guitar. So if you want to check out uh, what to do, how to do it, just uh, open up the description box under the video. You will see all the details and uh, have fun. Good luck. And John? Yes. Thanks. A lot Thank for you. having us. Have Great an awesome tour. To you. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, it's it's my pleasure. So okay. um, just have fun and uh, see you soon. All I guess. right. Sounds good. <laughs> cool. In case you guys want to check out a drum and a keyboard rundown, we are doing it too. Check out on our other channels, Tomans Drum Bash and Tomans Synthesizers. Mm -hmm.